Essence Fest, like many festivals and events, helps the city of New Orleans by bringing in more tourists. Many local businesses say they're cashing in, but not everyone is enjoying the same financial boost. Winston Reed spoke to business owners on both sides of the spectrum. The 30th edition of Essence Fest is projected to be a $300 million moneymaker for New Orleans. It's in large part thanks to eager visitors like Daquanda Magby, who made the trek from Alabama for her birthday. So me and my friends, our goal is to try whatever food we can within these four days. So if we can, if we can hit 50, we hitting 50, you hear me? Essence is only second to Mardi Gras. For restaurant owner Glenn Charles, it's all hands on deck for his staff at Nice Guys NOLA. Me and my wife love it. We, uh, we get a lot of people from all over the country, all over the world really. La La Bowie serves up food for thought as a tour guide at the Backstreet Cultural Museum in Treme. You come here, you're going to learn a, a lot about the culture. Uh, we have uh, Indian suits, we have baby doll suits, we have skull and bone. Bowie says the museum once held exhibits for Essence Fest in years past, but with updated requirements, including vendor fees, the business has been absent from the festival in recent years. In an effort to increase foot traffic, the Backstreet Cultural Museum reduced its ticket prices for the festival weekend. For the influx of people that come into the city to see Essence Festival, uh, we have not seen those numbers here at Backstreet Culture Museum. Bowie and the Backstreet team hope to rekindle their relationship with the Essence Fest organizers moving forward. We really want everybody to uh, know the culture. New Orleans is more than just coming in for the good food and the good times. We have uh, rich cultures here that's been uh, traditions that's been going on for over 300 years. In New Orleans, Winston Reed, WWL, Louisiana.